welcome, welcome, welcome to Financial Fitness. And I have off the charts. And today we're going to be talking about currencies. And I have a wonderful GAN analyst here, Mr. Jim Smith. How are you today, Jim? And thank you so much for the chart. And what does this chart say to you from a perspective of new investors? It's a, it's a wow chart. Yet I have a feeling you've been looking at this chart for a while now. Yeah, in fact, uh, I've showed this chart on YouTube back on April 29th, and I told my clients about it in March before the high. Um, if you're looking at that blue, um, you have to go to the middle of the chart, mm -hmm. middle of the chart, you see where it says 144 bars. Um, basically, you're looking at a top in March of 2020. That's it. Uh, well, actually, that's pointing to it. It's below that, uh, the bar itself. Yeah. Okay, so that was the high. And you can see the dotted blue line extends up from March 2008 low. That was exactly 144 months. That's why it says 144 bars. Uh, in this software, they call it bars for, and, and days are like calendar days. But bars would be, uh, trading days or months or weeks. In this case, we're looking at a monthly chart. So it's 144 months and that's a big cycle for GAN. So I told my clients, look, this is probably a top. Not only was it 144 months from low, it was 60 months from high and it was 180 months from low. So those three are big cycles, and it was 25 months or just over 24, which is a big GAN cycle um, from low. So you've got, you know, four cycles there calling for a top, and that was the time to look for a high last spring, uh, March of last spring. So then I warned clients in the YouTube. I also put it out publicly because I wanted a record on this so people would know that I called it. Because uh, a lot of people will sort of pretend like they made a forecast. They never really did. So I wanted it time stamped. After this video, you can go to YouTube and check it out. But um, here, what we're talking about today, you see that we're testing 95.86, which is the 50% retracement. That's a big support line. Mm -hmm. And we got close that we tested that last week. And if we close below it, the the idea is that you should not be long. You should be either be short or out of the dollar. And if you, if you trade currencies, DXY is the ticker that you want to look for. That's the dollar index. Mm -hmm. If you close below 95.86 on the dollar index, it means you're likely to go down to the 5 eighths retracement at 89.56. Super. And you could go lower. It doesn't mean you can't go lower, but uh, with clients, um, a lot of people, I had a guy the other day say, well, it's easy to make that forecast, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're just telling people stuff that's obvious. And I'm going, I'm telling you, it wasn't obvious last March because a lot of fundamental analysts were saying the dollar is just going to keep going up. So they thought it was going to go this way. Yeah. They, I you, read, you, called, you called it to go this way. Yeah, exactly. And now you're saying if it breaks this we could be potentially going down to 89. Again, not yeah. telling people to trade. This is, again, for education purpose. Yet again, to help people who might have never traded this. So DXY, is a is it an ETF or in what way now, is that traded? That's just the dollar ticker. You'll have to go and look at various, you know, some people want to buy the euro because the dollar index is heavily weighted to the euro. You could buy the FXC, which is a ticker for the euro. Uh, incidentally, uh, when I look at the Euro chart for, um, you know, analyzing it with GAN charts, it's breaking out. Okay. So the Euro is actually slightly in advance of the dollar index. So I think this thing's going to go. So and it's mainly the Euro that's driving it. So if, if somebody wanted to go long Euro, the ticker for that, or the, is, is there FXE. an ETF for FXE. Yeah. Frank... So X-ray <laughs> Edward. Okay. Yeah. So that would be a, a way to be bullish the euro, which yeah. is again, in turn, bearish the dollar. Yeah. And, and so, the reason we say that is because 60% of the dollar index is the euro. So you really can't have a sell-off. It's hard to 
see the dollar index sell off if the euro is not going north. You know, it's got to be going up. Terrific. So it's the same trade, basically. Well, it's, it's a great way to, to, again, introduce our watchers and our listeners to FX. And this is a nice indication that you've been following for quite a while now. And so the GAN uh, chart has been speaking to you in this way. And we'll see what unfolds in the next week. So thank you so much. Dave, you got any other comment or sharing that you want to do for today? As well, we one other off the charts. One other thing I should point out, some people say, well, you don't give a time horizon. Uh, I do have a time horizon. I think you'll probably, if we close below 95.86, you will get down to 89.56 or lower. It could go a lot lower, but I think you would get to at least 89.56 by the end of September. And there's a reason for that. I won't go into it today, but with clients, they know why I'm targeting the end of September. And I just want to give people a fixed, a very solid view of what you would do if you were trading this market. I'm not telling you to buy or sell, but for educational purposes, if you close below 95.86 from a GAM perspective, by the end of September, you should be down at 89.56. So Fantastic. I just want to be yes, this is practical trading. This is what people do if they're trading this market. And you can follow along. You don't have to trade it. I would be skeptical too. But, you know, you want to look at it and see if it works. Fantastic. This is a good example. Excellent. Well, that's what we're here for. We're sharing practical, live type of trades that people can look at. Uh, we've looked at shorting. We've looked at gold, silver. And today, it's off the charts looking at the US dollar and euro. Thank you very much for your time today, Jim. Hey, thanks a lot, Dave. All right, have you have a great day. You too.